having watched Sharika Jackson and Shakari Richardson win the women's 100 meter finals at their respective countries' national championships 2024. The question that many of you have asked me to ask is Can Sharika Jackson beat Shakari Richardson over the 100 in Paris? Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops, you drop a video. Once you're here in Peter Lloyd World, also if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts. And ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, first up, let me just say, give thanks and praises to Jah. Um, myself and my family are safe. No property damage. Um, no injuries, nothing. We have no light and uh, absolutely no Wi-Fi. And um, the my carrier didn't didn't work for the first 24 hours after the the the, um, the hurricane and hurricane barrel. And um, after and it's very very spotty. So it's one of the reasons why you have not seen any videos. But we're going to try and get these out uh, for you as soon as it's possible. Um, also. Um, sending strength and love to my fellow Jamaicans. Um, not everyone, some people had it really rough in this hurricane. Uh, but remember what I say, a house divided cannot stand. So in your community, people in your communities, help the people in your communities who it didn't go very well for them. Please. Okay. It's all about love. Now let's get back to the video. Now, having watched the women's 100 meter finals at both the USA and the Jamaica National Championships 2024. The women we anticipated to win did win. In Jamaica, it was none other than the great Jacko, Sharika Jacko Jackson, also known as the Superwoman. And in the United States, it was the current world champion in the women's 100 meters, Shakari Richardson. Now, the question must be asked, uh, given what we've seen of Sharika Jackson, will she be able to beat Shakari Richardson, no emotions now, just crunching numbers, come Paris if they both make it to the finals. Richardson won her country's national championship women 100 meters in a season's best and world leading time of 10.71 and looked quite impressive doing so. There are big time, big stage performers. And Shakari Richardson is one of those. Final of the women's hundred. Here it is. Yeah. Let's see who's going to be famous. It wasn't the best start from Shakari Richardson to the Lady Davis. Now Shakari starts to wind up as she goes past Jefferson. Shakari Richardson takes seven eight. Shakari Richardson wins the women's hundred meters. Her first time in the women's uh, Jamaica's national championship win women's 100 meters in a time of 10.84 and did not look as impressive doing so. I'll explain. Great anticipation around the national stadium. Set. And across the globe. Set. Bang! Where they go. Kemba Nelson, Fraser Price got an excellent start. Tia Clayton is running the race of her life. Sharika Jackson turns on the afterburners now. Spectacular performance. 10.79, the flash time. Sharika Jackson, big performance on the big occasion. Sends an ominous message from Kingston to Paris. Awesome performance by Sharika Jackson, the world championship. Silver medalist, reigning supreme. We wait for the official time. She kicked into top gear late and came home in 10.84 seconds. Tia Clayton ran the race of her life once again, 10.90 per second. Now, when I say that Sharika Jackson did not do, it, it, her execution of this 100 meters was absolutely horrendous. It was a terrible, terrible race for Sharika Jackson. Um, I was pleasantly surprised that she won. And I know that we get caught up in the euphoria of her winning. We are Jamaicans. We want our athletes to do their best. But honestly speaking, people, this is one of the worst 100 meters I've ever seen Sharika Jacko Jackson run. And I'm sure she's fully aware of it. And her coaching team is fully aware of it. It was a terrible run. Now, let me explain. What you saw there was raw power. Um, Sharika had the worst start 
of the eight women on that track absolutely horrendous it was such a bad i have not seen sharika run this badly in 100 meters since about 2021 it was that bad 30 to 40 to 50 meters into that 100 meters she was behind everyone in the race she literally had to claw her way through her execution and even her technique was horrendous this is the worst sharika jackson i've ever seen in 100 meters i don't know some me love sharika jackson so in other words, what I'm saying is her start was terrible. Uh, 40 to 50 meters in, she was behind everyone and she clawed her way back. This was sheer power. This is how incredibly talented this young lady is. Because remember, um, Shelly ran 10.94 to take third and young Tia Clayton, the new sprint queen. Um, and by the way, let me explain what I mean by that. Jamaica has several sprint queens, people. So they, listen. We have to change our psychosis. Because one person is doing well, it doesn't mean that someone else is doing badly. Okay? You understand? So we have several sprint queens. Anyway, let's get back to it. And um, Tia Clayton ran 10.90. So these girls were running. Um, Sharika, this, was, this, this is a positive and a negative. It was sheer power. Take a look at the race in a slow motion. Um... You'll understand what I'm saying that she, she got a terrible start and she had to claw her way through the field, meaning Sharika Jacko Jackson. Of the 2008 cohort to still be running competitively, Tia Clayton may have gotten the best start right there with Shelly and Fraser Price. Sharika Jackson got the absolute worst start of this championship. Even the great Bruce James, one of our most respected sports analysts, agrees with me. She had a horrible start, and you can see it right here. She was fighting her way right up to the line. She passed here Clayton five meters out of that line. This is sheer power that you're looking at. And the fact is, even Sharika Jackson knows that this was a terrible run. A big three for the Paris Olympics. Have you watched the movie Top Gun? Mark 10 speed coming from 50 meters onwards. The power, the speed, the precision. Listen to her interview with TVJ after. You've probably seen it already, but listen again. This year I trusted my body and I trusted my coach a lot more than last year. Last year I knew the shape that I was in. This year I was kind of uncertain, even though I could trust my coach. And, and I, I, for me personally, I just wanted to come out here and make the team. Top three was the aim. Coach and I discussed that. I just wanted to be in top three. Um, I got the win and I'm grateful. Obviously, this is not the finished article by any stretch of the imagination, <laughs> but 1084, no. What is it that we should be looking from, forward to from you from here? Um, it's just, oh, as I said, once I stay healthy, I don't think I'll be racing a lot this year. As I said, this year I've raced a little less than every other year, and I think it's working for me. I'm getting a lot more rest than usual, so um, it's just to stay healthy, and definitely we have a month to fix things. Um, tonight, the start wasn't 100%, so as I said, we have a month to fix things, though. So. We work from there. You, you have obviously said that this has been a different type of season. Has it been a calculated effort in terms of restricting the races or it's just part <laughs> of the recovering and building up to the party? So As I said, I'm the athlete, you know, and I have a coach. And coach, whenever coach decide where and where I run, I definitely work with that. And for me personally, it has been working. Um, I hope and I only ha I'd run one 100 this year. So just to be able to manage the rounds and run so well, I'm grateful. Your training partner, Tia Clayton, made the team. Your, one of your better friends, Shelly and Fraser Price, will be on the plane with you. The race itself, talk to us about the race and then having those two as your fellow compatriots. Um, I know, especially Tia, how Tia start, you know, with training partners and she has been really marvelous in starting. So I wanted to master the start today, you know, I, I was around the back and I said I want to get a decent start. I just want to be in the mix once I'm there and I come out my dry face, I definitely know that anything is possible. So for me personally, I'm grateful. I know you're, we're all humans. I don't know you've heard the talks that are going around about Jamaica sprinting this season and it's not been at the optimum level. Does it, does it factor in any at all to the preparation and execution of your races? Um, as I said, you know you have coaches who decide when and when to peak. Um, we don't want to be running at tip-top shape all year around, you know, and as I said, we are healthy and we peak when it's the right time and we're here at the Jamaica championship. Two of us are on the team. That's right. Fantastic oh, job, Sharika Louis. Hope to see you in Paris. <laughs> Thank you. 
Even Sharika Jackson knew that she was not in good form over the 100 meters. Even she knew, and of course, the genius Steve Francis himself told us this. I don't know. I, I don't know, but I think she'll be, she'll be able to run as well as she did, let's say, two years ago, in 2022. I mean, if that, if you have people running past and that, then, I mean, there's Shelly, there's Elaine, there's whoever. Now, two years ago, um, I believe Sharika Jackson ran the 100 meters in 10.77, if my memory serves me correct, there's thereabouts, I might be a little off. And this run that she did at the national championships, having the worst start, horrendous um, technique. Her technique was all over the place. Her phases were okay. She didn't panic. And she said that she trusted her coach. She actually said she just wanted to make the team. Just think about that. Sherika Jackson is one of the most confident athletes on the planet. And the great Stephen Francis said she just was not in the best shape. Because if you would listen to that full interview, and we covered it in another video, um, Stephen Francis said she's way better in the 200 meters at this point than 100 meters. And of course, uh, Sharika Jackson also said they're going to be working, not, not a lot of races, they're going to be working on the technicalities because she knows that she won that race based on sheer, just sheer raw talent. Just raw. It's not easy to run past Shelly and Fraser Price like that. And Tia Clayton is in the shape of her life. So, now this, of course, is my two cents. Now, as for this young lady, Shakira Richardson, throughout the entire series in America, ran really well. In fact, what was very impressive to me is in her heat, she ran 10.88 after literally stomp, she almost fell flat on her face out of the blocks. Maintained her cool. You can see the maturity. Her technique was solid, except for the start, of course. And that improved throughout the series. By the time she ran the finals, the finals was almost perfectly executed. Shakira Richards is in, the, is in the shape of her life. I think she's in better shape than she was last year when she ran a 10.65 to win at the World Championships. And anyone who's going to beat her is going to have to come hard. Because Shakira Richardson is in the form of her life. She's in incredible form. And going into the Paris Olympic Games based on these two, because these two are the top contenders, contenders for the women's 100 meters. Uh, we're going to throw in a Julian Alfred who looks really good too. I think she's going to be running fire, but we discussed that elsewhere. Now, the positive about what I saw with Sharika Jackson is the raw power. The truth is, if she had gotten an average start or her regular start, she would have ran something closer to a 7.75, which is close to what Stephen Francis said, if you just do the math. Um, like I said, she was caught in the block sleeping. She, it was a terrible start. Ooh, look at her. Um, she didn't panic. That's her years of experience. But this was not the best, best execution of a race I've ever seen. So the fact that she was able to catch a Shelly and a Tia at her best and pass them with absolute, almost effortlessly towards the very end. I mean, she ran almost from the back of the pack. Says she's also, in terms of sheer power, she has improved immensely from when she ran the 10.65 last year. You hear what I'm saying? What she needs to fix now are the technical aspects of her race. Um, and I think this is down to the fact that because she had the injury issues early this year, she ran no 100 meters. And remember, she normally starts the season running 60s to get out of the blocks fast enough. Um, I did hear one commentator say something that I kind of agree with. Um, I'm, trying to remember, I'm trying to remember who it was. I don't remember if it was an American commentator or if it was one of our own uh, brilliant analysis. But the person said... Shabika needs to stop thinking about the start and just run. Um, because what we saw at the National Stadium is incredible. This athlete, what we saw, and this is just me now, uh, because you can't crunch numbers here. Like I said, if she had gotten a good start, she would have run a 10.75 quite easily. I'm very, very certain about that. Um, so they're going to have to, and she said it, they're going to have to work on the technical aspects of her race. Uh, also, what I saw tells me that once she's corrected in terms of the technical aspects of her 100 meters, she looks to be in better, just raw power now. In, in, in other words, her natural speed has increased impressively, maybe 10, 15, 20 percent. 
Uh, in other words, I think both herself and Shakari are at about the same point. Both of these ladies will run, can run closer to a 10.60 at this point. Shakari looks incredible, but I also think based on just the sheer power that I saw with, it, with uh, Sharika Jackson, she can run about the same. So this is not going to be a walk in the park for anyone at the Paris Olympic Games. And Julian Alfred is coming hard, people. Do not knock her. Uh, we're witnessing a changing of the guard. So be, we'll talk about it in another video. So what I'm saying is, if they are able to straighten out the technical aspects of her race, Jacko can beat Shikari. It's a possibility. And Shikari can beat Jacko. It's a possibility. Because I think technically they're both around the same place. Hard to tell from the 10.84, but like I said, go back and look at the race. You'll see that she was running literally from the back of the pack. Horrible start. If she had gotten a solid start, she would have run, I think, something closer to a 10.75, 10.77. Which means that with the technical changes, she can run a sub 10.65 at this point. As I think Shakari Richardson can run. What the MVP coaches will have to fix with Sharika Jackson in the next 30 days, and that's not a lot of time, are the technical aspects of her race. Her 100 meters, the technical aspects are terrible. If she had run that kind of race in the finals in Paris that she ran at the Jamaica National Championships, she would have come fourth. She would not have medaled because I'm telling you, Julian Alfred and Shakari, and do not count out Shelly and Fraser Price. And based on what I'm seeing with Tia Clayton, I know some of you think this is ridiculous, but she's coming into crazy form, people. She could be a factor. And like I said, we're seeing witnessing the changing of the guard. Now, this is a long, long video. I don't normally do videos this long, but I hope you've been able to stay with me this long. Listen, so do I think she can beat Shakari? Yeah. If they fix the technical aspects. If they don't, it's going to be Shakari's race to lose. But I do believe that once they're able to fix it, and she has the best coaches on the planet, she's going to be a factor because just the raw speed that I saw running that 10.84 from the back of the pack to pass all these people, yeah, she's in sub 10.65 shape. We just have to get the technical aspects correct. But this, of course, is my two cents. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, which feel the like button. Remember, your royals, kings, and queens. Bless up.